Yo, so what is up everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video. And as promised in the last video, we are doing another career sim today. And just like I said in that video, this is going to be one of the most highly requested career simulations on this channel. So today we are going to be doing a simulation of the career of the one and only Zion Williamson. So obviously Zion has been an absolute beast throughout his college career in Duke and is one of the most hyped prospects of all time. And since going back from his injury, he actually has been looking really good. So we're going to be simulating his entire career and seeing how he ends up turning out. And if you can, before we actually hop into the sim, please smash that like button for your boy. If you're sub, that's the best way you can support me doing that and dropping a comment of who you want next. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We're at 3.1k now out of that big 10k goal for the end of the year. So any support really goes a long way. So here we go. As you can see, Giannis Antetokounmpo did get MVP. Zion not on any of the all-rookie teams, which is definitely disrespectful. I guess they took a big hit on him for being injured a lot of the season. Um, our Pelicans did not make playoffs, but Zion ended with a pretty good stat line, 22.4 points per game, and the Mavericks actually end up winning the chip in year one. Moving into year two, Zion's already an 88 overall, which is definitely kind of crazy to see, especially because he is only 20 years old. And this entire team is going to be growing along with Zion as they have many young pieces. Giannis Antetokounmpo goes ahead and gets back-to-back -back MVPs. And in year two, once again, the Pelicans miss playoffs bad. This year, Zion averaging 22.6 points per game. And in the finals, you have the Warriors versus the Bucks, And the Warriors bounce back big time with that healthy squad. Um, year three, pretty much the same squad. And once again, Giannis Antetokounmpo gets a back-to-back-to-back -back -back MVP season. Uh, let's see... Zion honestly might be on one of the All-NBA teams now, as he did make the All-NBA third team. And we finished the number two seed in the Western Conference. And Zion has had a great season already now up to a 94 overall. Our first round matchup is up against Steph Curry and the Warriors. So this will be an interesting one as they did just win a championship just last year. And we actually end up four wanting them in a five game series we do come out on top both zion and big o had a big game right there and in round two we are up against the portland trailblazers and dame but we cannot come out on top on this series as we lose four to one zion obviously having a very very good game once again so this is on the up and up right now as our team is getting better and better and we're getting more and more wins zion now at a 95 overall Jackson Hayes also progressing, Lonzo progressing, like I said, a lot of young talent on this team, and finally, a non-Giannis MVP in Luka Doncic. And to go along with that, Zion Williamson did make the All-NBA first team this year, along guys like Steph Curry and Giannis. As we finish the number two seed in the Western Conference, right behind the Phoenix Suns, Zion, an insane season from him, putting up absurd numbers as... He's starting to live up to the hype a lot. And our first round matchup is up against his fellow Rookie of the Year candidate, Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies. So this will be interesting to see them two go head to head and see what happens. And not as competitive as you might think as we actually ended up sweeping them 4-2-0. Zion dropping 33 points in that big game four. Moving on to the second round, we're up against Luka Doncic. And the Dallas Mavericks. And well, would you look at that? We beat them 4-2-1 as well. This is this Pelicans team is a force to be reckoned with. This is spooky, especially because they have both Luka and Kristaps, and they were not enough to stop this team. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals, we now meet up against the Kawhi Leonard led Clippers. And we take the L, so. We do lose 4-2 to to Kawhi and the Clippers. But moving on to year 5, you see this team has an absurd amount of potential. Zion up to a 96 overall. Jackson Hayes at an 85. Brandon Ingram at an 88 overall. So this is a very, very scary team. MVP now back-to-back -back seasons for Luka Doncic. Starting to do what Giannis did a few years back. 
Uh, Zion Williamson once again sitting on that all NBA first team and we finished the number three seed in the Western Conference 25.9 points per game for Zion to go along with 11.9 rebounds per game uh, First round matchup. We got Donovan Mitchell and the Utah Jazz as We do beat them four to one. So let's look at the box score real quick and see how that went Zion dropping 33 and 14 too much firepower, dude. Too much firepower as we move on to this second round matchup up against De'Aaron Fox. And we knock them out 4-2. to two. Zion dropping 32-13. and 13. Once again, insane stat line. As we move on to the Western Conference Finals against the very talented Phoenix Suns. This should be an interesting matchup. They are one of the few teams to finish above us in the regular season. We get up early 3-1. to one. They get a few games back and it's going to Game 7. End in game seven. We knock them out four to three. Zion dropping 38 and 14, not letting us go down that easy. Here we are in our first finals appearance up against Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics. We are up 3 0, and we're going to hop in with Simcast and see what's going on as they have a one point lead with 54 seconds. We do have the ball right here coming up the court. Let's see what we can get done. Let's see if the guys can clutch it up. Lonzo Ball can't do much. Trying to get the ball to someone. Lane's a little clogged up. Top of the key, Zion. Bang! Zion drills a three to put the Pelicans up by two. 17 seconds left. Celtics got the ball, and Kemba drains it. All tied up at 116, 116. Pelicans have the ball. Nine seconds left, and boom. The cut by Zion. Too strong. Getting the big dunk. And this is the last second chance for the Celtics. Can Kemba drain it? And Kemba bricks it. Your 2024 NBA champions are none other than the New Orleans Pelicans. So let's look at the box score from that game. Big game from Zion right there. 22 and 19 rebounds. Not shooting the greatest, but a dub is a dub. As Zion goes ahead and also gets himself his first finals MVP moving into year six this squad is honestly looking like it's good enough to repeat and Giannis actually gets the regular season MVP once again um let's see all NBA first team nod once again for it now 99 overall Zion and to go along with that we are the number one seed in the Western Conference this is going to be a scary season as Zion averaged 26 points per game and 12.2 rebounds so a nice little double double for him and we honestly just have a lot of firepower on this team around him um our first round matchup is up against the memphis grizzlies once again and i still will not count out john morant and the boys because they do have a pretty solid team as they have us three to two but we do end up taking the series four to two but they gave us a lot better of a fight this time as Zion. uh zion I almost called him Zonis. That's really bad. Zion had a really good game once again. Moving on to the second round here. We're up against the T-Wolves. And we have a 3-1 to one lead on them. And boom. They are eliminated just like that. 4-1. to one. Zion dropping 32-10. and 10. Obviously an incredible game for him. And once again, we're meeting up against the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. A very good team that I don't like seeing in the playoffs. But hey... We have a really good squad ourselves, so we're going to have to see exactly what we can do here. We get up early 1-2, to 2-2, two, two to two, I mean 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, to zero, and now they get a game, but we end up winning 4-1. to one. Um, Not too crazy of a game from Zion, as he really didn't have too much of an impact in that one, but hey, he had to take the back seat sometime. Um, NBA Championship, here we go, up against, surprisingly, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and we're going to see what we can do. We're up 3-1, to one and we're going to hop into the game in Simcast. We're up by 15 points, and we are just letting the clock run out. So yet again, we are getting our second NBA championship. This is big hype. Most likely, Zion will be getting himself his second finals MVP. And most importantly, we did repeat back-to-back -back seasons of winning the NBA championship. And back-to-back Finals MVP seasons for Zion Williamson. So here we are moving into year seven of Zion's career. 
And once again, he is at a 99 overall. Lonzo and Brandon Ingram are both at a 91 overall. And Jackson Hayes is starting to get up there as well at a 90 overall. So this team is really shaping up around us. Luka Doncic goes ahead and gets MVP. Still playing with the Mavericks. Um, we are on the All-NBA First team. And we are the number two seed in the Western Conference. Zion putting up 26.1 points per game and 12.8 rebounds per game. And um, our first round matchup is going to be up against the Memphis Grizzlies yet again. Jeez. This is like the third time we met them in the first round, surprisingly. So we'll see what ends up happening this time. As not great for them, we sweep them 4-0. Second round matchup up against the Spurs, and their luck is not too much better. As they get knocked out 4-1, with a huge game from Brandon Ingram dropping 41. Um, Western Conference Finals up against, yet again, the Warriors. This seems to be a recurring thing here. And we're going to see what we can do here. As, like I said before, the Warriors are one of the better teams now that everyone is healthy. Uh, we are up 3-2. They push it to seven, and we actually lose. Uh, they did get themselves a big man in Big O, and he had a really good game there as we move into year eight. Once again, really good team around us here. Lots of young characters. Even coming off the bench, having a guy like Nerlens Noel to bring that defensive pressure is huge. And in year eight, Giannis, nice, Zion gets regular season MVP, averaging 27 points per game, and we are second seed in the Western conference and we're once again meeting up against the memphis grizzlies in the first round and yet again sweeping them 4-2-0 second round matchup up against the utah jazz and the jazz also did not stand the chances they get swept 4-0 moving back into the western conference finals against the warriors again as we are up 2-1 3-1 and we knock them out this time Four, two, one. Uh, really good game from Brandon Ingram there. Um, they just couldn't get it done. As we move into the finals here, up against the Bulls, who have Cade Cunningham, Josh Richardson, Denny, Laurie Markinen, and a really solid team. Uh, we get up two to one, three to one, and we're gonna hop in. And we actually do not end up popping in, but we do win the championship. By a slim margin, I did not top in in time. So we get our third NBA championship already, and now we are in year nine. Zion, still a 99 overall, and our roster is still really complete. Uh, you can see what the rotations are looking like real quick, right before we hop into the season sim. And all the accolades that this man already has is kind of insane. So this season, Giannis Antetokounmpo goes ahead and gets MVP. And Zion, of course, is on the All-NBA First Team. Um, number one seed in the Western Conference yet again. Zion averaging 24.3 points per game and 10.8 rebounds per game to go along with that. Uh, our first round matchup this year is finally not the Grizzlies. But it is the Phoenix Suns, so we are going to see what can happen here. As we're up 3-1, to one, and we knock them out 4-1. Uh, so it's looking like our second round matchup is actually going to be up against the Spurs. And in that game, really good game from Zion, 26-14. and 14. Um, Yeah, so we're up against the Spurs. Kobe White and Jalen Green is their, uh, their guard play. So they are pushing it to 7 with us, and we actually end up beating them in 7. Thankfully, we did not choke. Western Conference Finals, the Grizzlies finally make it out, so are they built different this year? And they are not, as we beat them, 4-2-1. Uh, GG's for John Morant, because he just cannot make it past Zion. As we move into the finals here, up against the Detroit Pistons, we're up 2-1. They get a game, and it's 3-2, so we're going to hop in with Simcast and see what's going on. We got a little bit of a lead here, 130-119. to they just hit a super contested three, which definitely clutched up, but I don't think it'll be enough. They do foul us. We go to the line, make it a 10-point game yet again, and they try another Hail Mary throwing up that three, and this time they brick it. Jackson Hayes brings down the rebound to give us yet our fourth championship in Zion's career. Uh, this is pretty insane, man. Zion really didn't even have to do much in this game as he actually shot three for 13 
but with the team around him, he could fall back. Finally, moving into year 10, this is what our squad is looking like. Pretty much the same guys all throughout. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo going ahead and getting MVP. And Zion making the second team this year. And we are the number one seed in the Western Conference. Uh, Zion, 24.9 points per game and 12.7 rebounds per game. And at some point, I guess that we acquired Zach Levine throughout the season via trade. Um, he is coming off the bench, surprisingly. As you can kind of see what the rotations are looking like here. We have a really, really good team. And um, our first round matchup is up against the Denver Nuggets this time. So a little something different. Jamal Murray still on the team as well as Nikola Jokic. They have they gave us a little bit of a series, but we do pull it out 4-2. Uh, Jokic just could not do enough to get it done with his 28-13 and 13 stat line. Uh, moving on to the second round, we meet up yet again versus the Spurs and Carl Anthony Towns. And DeAndre Ayton actually, which is definitely kind of an interesting duo. Um, we'll see what we can do. Very good big man play there, so we'll see if they have enough to do what it takes. We're up 3-0, and we actually eliminate them 4-0, so get a clean sweep on them. Um, interesting. So, let's see. Zion, not that great of a game, but Zach Levine kind of carried us with 34. And in the Western Conference Finals, we meet again with Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies. So, we'll see what happens this time as we once again sweep them. This is GG's for John Morant, guys. Like, poor John Morant just cannot get past our Pelicans team in the playoffs. Um, we're moving on to the finals yet again. This time, we're up against the Indiana Pacers with Jalen Johnson and Miles Bridges. And, honestly, I would say I'm pretty confident about us doing well in this series as we're up 3-1 to one and we hop in at the end. And we're just letting the time dribble out. And yet again, we get our fifth, I believe our fifth, NBA championship of this simulation for Zion Williamson. Definitely putting him in some high, high, high um, conversations. Zion, yet again, finals MVP. And moving into year 11, this is what the squad's looking like. We still are holding together this core of Zion, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and Jackson Hayes. I'm surprised all of them have been able to stay together so long. Giannis gets MVP. We're the number one seed in the West. And uh, Zion averaging 22.7 points per game and 11.2 rebounds per game to go along with that. Uh, Josh Christopher having a really good season as well. Um... First round matchup, yet again, Memphis Grizzlies. Man, it, it would not be fun to be a Memphis Grizzlies fan during these these times. As uh, they actually get up on us 2-1 to one this time in the first round of the playoffs. So we'll see. They're the, they're the eighth seed. We're the one seed. 2-2 uh, two to two all tied up. 3-2 to two them. And wow, they actually finally defeat us. But I'm not sure that this is really where it matters. Because they could have went to the playoffs twice. But hey. This time, they took us down in the first round of the playoffs as we move into the next year of the Sim. Zion gets himself an all-second team nod. And we're yet again the number one seed in the Western Conference with 60 wins. Zion dropping 22.9 points per game and 11.8 rebounds per game. Um, so we're looking at who we're up against in the first round. First, I'll show you kind of what the uh, rotations are looking like. Mm, pretty much the same guys as almost throughout this entire sim, which is kind of crazy because it's been about 12 years since we've started. And uh, look at all these accolades for Zion. Pretty impressive. First round matchup up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Surprisingly, they only made the 8 seed. So I'm wondering if they no longer have Kawhi or what, um, as we are the number one seed. Yeah, they no longer have Kawhi. So that probably has a lot to do with it. Uh, so we'll see what we can do against this squad in the first round. They get up on us 1-0. to zero. They're up 2-1. to one. They're going to make this a little bit of competitive series for sure, it looks like. 3-1. to one. And it's not looking great as we get dropped off 4-1 to one by this non-Kawhi Clippers team. Zion dropping 20-14, and 14, but it still was not enough for us to get that dub. So we're just going to keep on pushing and move into year 13. Uh, in year 13, MVP goes to LaMelo Ball, interestingly enough. Second seed in the Western Conference for us with 54 wins. Uh, look at these stat lines real quick. 23.9 points for 
um, a game for Zion Williamson. And um, let's look who, who we got in the first round. Ooh, the Rockets. Okay, the Rockets. We're up 3-1 on the Rockets. And we end up knocking them out 4-2-1. Not even honestly sure who's on this Rockets team. I, I would be very surprised if it's still like James Harden or anyone. They should be out of the league by now. But um, Brandon Ingram drops a 26 bomb. And obviously no uh, James Harden on the other team. Second round of the playoffs, we're up against the Lakers, and we knock them out 4-2-1. Zion, huge game, 36 points and 12 rebounds. This man is a double-double machine, which is kind of insane. But uh, we're moving on to the Western Conference Finals, where yet again, we're matched up against Ja Morant and the Grizzlies. So we're going to see what happens here, man. They've had a lot of bad luck against us, so we're going to see what happens. As yet again, when it really matters, we knock them out 4-2. to two. That's a rough scene. Zion dropping a 31 bomb. And we're up against the Detroit Pistons yet again in the NBA Finals. But this time, it's not looking as good as they actually drop us off 4-1. to one And someone named Stuart Irving actually gets MVP. Moving into year 14 of the Sim. Still got some of the guys here. Lonzo, Jackson Hayes. Brandon Ingram, Zion, all still hanging around. Zion still at a 99 overall. Maurice Peterson gets MVP for the second time. Uh, second seed in the Western Conference this year for us. Zion, 22.5 points per game and over 11 rebounds per game. So you cannot complain about those stats, even in the slightest. Um, Brandon Ingram still doing his thing. Everybody's really doing solid still. Um, first round of the playoffs, we're matched up against the Portland Trailblazers. who have Terrence Clark. Rui Hashimura, and Bam Adebayo. Uh, still have Nazir Little actually coming off the bench for them as well. So let's see what, what we can do. I think that we should be able to beat this team, but the 2K Sim is a little crazy, and they haven't been favoring us as of late. As look at this, we're already down 3-1, and we get dropped off 4-1 to one somehow by this Trailblazers team. That is wild. Zion dropping 38-10. and 10. But uh, moving into year 15 of the Sim, our boy Zion is unfortunately starting to regress a little at now a 98 overall. Um, but obviously a 98 overall is still more than enough to get it done. James Wiseman getting MVP, fourth seed in the Western Conference. Zion, 21.4 points per game and 12 rebounds per game. First round of the uh, playoffs, we're up against the Denver Nuggets. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. No longer have Nikola Jokic as least as a starter, and they still drop us off four to one anyway. Uh, Zion down to a 96 overall. Lamelo Ball actually uh, regular season MVP for year 16, and we miss playoffs with only 37 wins in year 13. That's not good. Zion 19.1 points per game and 11.9 I believe rebounds per game. So that's big tough that we did actually miss the playoffs in year 16, especially because I feel like our team's still pretty damn good. Uh, year 17, Zion, 92 overall. And uh, we'll see what happens this year. Hopefully we can make playoffs and maybe even get him one more chip throughout the end of his career here. Um, standing, let's see what we got. It's not looking great as we actually missed the playoffs with only 22 wins. 22 and 60, man, that is bad. Uh, let's look at the stats and see kind of maybe why that happened. Zion, 17.2 points per game and 12.4 rebounds per game. He's still getting it done, so I'm not really sure why. As here we are, moving into year 18. Zion, 86 overall. And in year 18, they're actually running him at the center, which is definitely a little weird. LaMelo Ball goes ahead and gets MVP yet again for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And at this point, we are most likely not going to see Zion on any of the all-NBA teams. Um, let's see what we got as far as stats go and where we finished, honestly. So look at these standings. And 23 wins. Tragic. That's definitely big tough. Uh, Zion, 14 points per game and 11.5 rebounds per game. It's definitely a little weird they played him at the center position this year. I, apparently, that's a secondary position, but I always thought of him more as a small forward power forward as opposed to a power forward center. So here we are in the year 2037, year 19 of Zion's career. 
And let's take a look and see what the team's looking like. And surprisingly enough, Zion is not on this team anymore. I don't know if he signed elsewhere, but let's take a quick look and see what's up with that. Uh, player finder, let's type in Zion's last name and see if he's still hanging around. Or if I actually missed his little retirement thing, and I did. So Zion low-key retired on us, which is okay. We did make him play center last season, so I can see why he's a little upset. But we're going to go in and see how kind of how his career finished as far as everything. I'm sure he made the Hall of Fame, finishing 14th overall in total points career-wise. And um, I'm sure he's up there in rebounds as well because he always had double-digit rebounds throughout his season. Um, so let's take a look. Free throws, that's not really a strong suit, surprisingly. And as far as rebounds go, number 10th overall all-time, which is kind of impressive for someone who plays that small forward, power forward position IRL. And these are the teams, uh, the kind of team records. But uh, if you guys made it this far, I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comment section who to do next. Um, if you made it this far, definitely be sure to comment GOAT in all capitals so I know you watched all the way through. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.